COVID-19 ever existed and long before we started using the phrases stay at home and shelter in place, Yellowstone National Park had already contributed to the battle over the deadly virus. MTN's John Shearer explains. It all started here in Yellowstone's famous and colorful hot springs. Yellowstone has the largest concentration of hydrothermal features in the world. And these hot spots are where unique heat-loving bacteria have evolved. But one of the bacteria, the bacterial species that they identified is called Thermus aquaticus. And that's where the connection to the pandemic comes in. Scientists uh, took an enzyme from Thermus aquaticus. An enzyme that was key to DNA research. Was able to essentially invent a new laboratory process. Up until the mid-1980s, the enzymes used to map DNA were all destroyed by the heat the process generated. The Yellowstone enzyme was different because... Likes a hot environment. That gave scientists a new process. And this process amplifies DNA. One key molecule from a Yellowstone hot spring led to the DNA mapping we now take for granted. That would be in things like crime study, genealogy, and medicine, including vaccines like the ones being developed for COVID-19. Medically, it's a very important technique. And one that is still far from reaching its full potential. But you can imagine with any infectious disease in the future that could be used. A quarter of all the annual research permits in Yellowstone are issued to scientists looking for new and valuable bacteria. Really pushing the envelope with extremophile and thermophile research. Research that goes way beyond medicine. Searching for the origins of life on Earth and even looking for clues to life that may exist on other planets. In Bozeman, John Shearer, MTN News. And you can see the complete conversation about Hot Springs research in Yellowstone National Park on our website.